Today I'm going to show you eight ways to free up hard drive space. If you follow this video, you will have much more space on your hard drive by the end of it. So let's dive straight in. Number one, removing unused apps. The apps on your computer can take up a lot of space on the hard drive. Some of them can be well over 50 gigabytes in size. So it's a good idea to remove the ones you don't want anymore. To see a list of your apps you have installed, click on the start button, settings, then apps. If you click on the down arrow next to sort by, then choose size, you will see your apps in size order with the largest at the top. Games can quite often be the largest ones on the list, but some of the others can be quite big too. If you come across an app and you're not sure what that particular app is or what it does, just leave it alone. Other than that, if you see one that you don't want anymore, click on it, then click on uninstall and follow any of the simple on-screen instructions. Once you've finished removing any apps that you don't want, just close this window. You might have to restart your computer to allow Windows to fully remove the apps you've just uninstalled. So when you're ready, go ahead and restart your system. Number two, removing unused programs. It's a good idea to remove your unwanted programs because just like apps, some of them can be over 50 gigabytes in size. To see a list of your installed programs, click in the search box, type control panel, then click on it. Make sure large icons is selected, then choose programs and features. Next, click on size to see the list in size order. The program shown here might look very similar to your list of apps, but the reason we come here as well is because some of your programs you have installed will only be shown here. So you might find a program in this list that wasn't shown in your apps list. Don't remove a program if you don't know what it is or what it's used for. But other than that, if you see one you no longer want, right click on it and select uninstall and follow any of the simple on-screen instructions. Once you've finished removing any programs you don't want anymore, close this window, then restart your computer so that Windows can fully remove anything you've just uninstalled. Number three, deleting files and folders. Look around your computer to find any of your own personal files or folders such as your videos, photos, music, documents and so on and delete the ones you don't want anymore. You can look for those files and folders here on your desktop then after that click on File Explorer and this PC. Now take a look in your Documents folder, your Downloads folder, Music, Pictures and Videos folder to find any of your personal files and delete the ones you don't want anymore. If there's a certain file or folder that you know you have on your computer but you can't find it, double click on the C drive, click in the search box, type in the name of the file or folder you're looking for, then press enter. As usual, don't delete something if you don't know what it is or what it's used for. Other than that, delete your personal files and folders that you no longer want. You can also use the search box to find all your files on your computer that are larger than four gigabytes in size by typing in the search box size colon gigantic then press enter. Or you could type one of these into the search box to find other sized files instead. Once you've found and deleted all of your personal files and folders that you no longer want, move on to the next tip. Number four, empty in the recycle bin. Whenever you delete a file or folder, it will normally end up in the recycle bin. So when you delete an item, all you're really doing is moving it from one folder and putting it into the recycle bin folder. In other words, your deleted files and folders are still taking up room on your hard drive. So let's go into the recycle bin. If you're sure you want to permanently delete everything here, click on empty recycle bin. If you haven't done this for a while, this can give you a lot of extra space on your hard drive. Number five, using disk cleanup. Disk cleanup can remove temporary files from your computer that are no longer needed. This can often give you a lot more hard drive space. To use disk cleanup, Click in the search box and type disk cleanup, then click on it. 
leave this option on the C drive and click on OK. Give your computer a moment to calculate how much space it can save you. Then this box will appear. In this section of the window, we can choose what we want to clean up. But first we want to include system files that are also safe to clean up and add them to this section. So to do this, click on Clean Up System Files and click on OK. Give your computer a moment, then this box will appear again. But this time, this section also includes system files that are safe to remove. Now choose the items you want cleaned up by putting a tick in the box next to them. If you're not sure what they all are, click on one, then read its description just here. It is safe to clean up everything, but check through them though, because you might not want to delete certain ones, such as the items in your downloads folder. Once you're happy with the items you've selected, click on OK and leave Windows to do the rest. Number six, compressing data. You can compress any file, folder, or even your entire hard drive to save space on your drive. So let's suppose we want to compress this folder. Let's right click on it and select Properties, then Advanced. Now put a tick in the box next to Compress Contents to Save Disk Space and click on OK. Click on Apply, then choose Apply Changes to this folder, Subfolders and Files and click on OK, and then OK. Windows will now compress all the files and folders held within this folder. You can tell which folders are compressed because they have these arrows in their top right corner. If you want to use anything within a compressed folder, you can simply use it just as you would normally. You don't have to decompress it or recompress it as Windows will do that for you in the background. By the way, compressed folders will take a slight performance hit as the compressed files have to be decompressed and recompressed by Windows each time you use them. So I wouldn't recommend compressing anything that needs a lot of computer power, but it's worth compressing things that don't, such as photos, documents, videos, and so on, to gain yourself some extra hard drive space. Number seven, moving files to another drive. If you have files and folders that you don't use very often, you could move them to another hard drive or a USB flash drive. Just highlight the items you want to move, right click on them and select cut, click on this PC, right click on the hard drive or flash drive you want to move your files to and select paste. Another option is to use cloud storage space for your files, though you often have to pay for that kind of service once you go beyond about five to 10 gigabytes. Number eight, Windows Storage Sense. Windows Storage Sense is a part of Windows that can automatically clear up your temporary files so that you don't have to remember to do it yourself. It's turned off by default, so let's take a look at it. To open it up, click on Start, Settings, System, Storage, then Configure Storage Sense or run it now. So first, turn on Storage Sense, where it reads, Run Storage Sense, I would recommend choosing every week as that will be plenty for most people. Delete temporary files that my apps aren't using. Leave a tick in this box because this will only delete temporary files that are not needed and are safe to delete. Delete files in my recycle bin if they've been there for over 60 days, 30 days, 14 days, one day or never. They recommend choosing 30 days but just choose whatever suits you. Delete files in my downloads folder if they've been there for over 60 days, 30 days, 14 days, one day or never. I would recommend choosing never as it's better to manage your downloads yourself. But again, just choose whatever suits you. By the way, Storage Sense is like a less aggressive version of disk cleanup. But the difference is that Storage Sense will always work automatically in the background without you having to manually start it up. Okay, so next, click on the Clean Now button. If you've already run Disk Cleanup, Storage Sense won't have much to clean up for you this time around, but from now on, it will help free up some of your hard drive space automatically using the settings you've just selected here. Once you've finished with this, just close this window. 
So that was eight ways to free up hard drive space. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.